What's up guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. Stop. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm gonna say Kita Edition and do a bunch of music. And not today. Not today, we're changing things up. I'm not so predictable, I'm just doing some chill music instead. All right, let's go to the smithing grounds. A city of miners who maintain the giant tunnel. Long ago, the efforts of the hard-headed burrowers allowed Boletarian soldiers to carry out their work, but now, dispose, dispossessed of their souls, they have no thoughts of their own and work in silence tirelessly without purpose. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so as I said, I actually find the uh, descriptions from these archstones to be really interesting. Um, I'm thinking the way I'm probably going to do lore videos on my main channel is I'm probably gonna do a lore video of each area. Cause I just finished some Latria stuff and recording for my lore video and I was having so much fun with it. I was like, oh my God, this is like just reading the lore and all the descriptions and I just love Latria. So I was like, ah, that's that's what I wanna do. Let's take care of this crystal lizard first. So crystal lizards are something else I believe has been changed for the, uh, the remaster. And hold on, was I able to upgrade my Oh my god, eight hardstone shards? Huh, I could actually upgrade it again right now if I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm not going to. Uh, with all those eight hardstone shards. Anyways, the crystal lizards is something else that is different. Whereas in the original Demon Souls, they would only respawn after they disappeared if you beat a boss. To my understanding, I'm, I'm fairly certain. And a boss in that specific area that you're in. In the remake, they respawn after death, or I think actually just using a um, using an archstone. I think honestly. So uh, with that, that means that you can like it's. I think it's much easier to get items and level up your weapons with this change. What's up? <laughs> Hello there. Souls, souls. I trade fine goods for souls. I think, oh, Filthy Man. I was going to say Nameless Merchant was what I thought his name was. Filthy Man. Whoops, my bad. Our little town. <laughs> it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone and don't bother with old folk like me. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> I always knew there was a god. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me. Have you heard about sparkling lizards? Not easy to catch, but they've got some fine stones. And I know where one of their nests is. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give it away. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be in 2-2. This is 2-1. I always knew there was a god. <laughs> Alright, he said everything he's got to say to us. Uh, I'm not going to purchase anything, but um, we're good for now. You want to play? So... This will be a shortcut for later that we're going to open up. Um, some important messages here. The next enemy is susceptible to thrusting attacks. So that's the game teaching you that um, the next enemy is susceptible to magic attacks. That's really the best thing that you're going to have in Stonefang is a magic thrusting weapon. Magic and or thrusting. Uh, but that's why the longsword is going to be good here because the R2 longsword is a thrust attack. And will do thrust damage for us. So let's start by heading outside and check out the perimeter here. Take me upstairs, please, elevator. I really like these elevators, actually. I think it, like, uh, it's a fun design. It just adds a little, another like nice element to it, as opposed to just being an up-down elevator. So we got a fat official here, rubbing his fat belly. <laughs> Doesn't have the same laugh as before, and. I uh, I know some people are not happy about that, and I understand, because his, his laugh is part of what makes him so creepy. But yeah, these fat officials are pretty annoying. Not not the worst to kill, honestly. Not the worst to kill. Uh, they're pretty easy to read. But okay, so this is they're not the ones who are weak to thrust attacks, but we got some full moon glass from them. They actually drop that pretty often, so they do have some good drops, but these guys... As you can see, that thrust attack was 89. Here's a normal R2 for comparison. 24. 24 compared to 89. So if I do an R2 run down there... Oh my god, I missed with that one. If I do a bunch of... Yeah, it takes three attacks to fully kill. And we'll also get a crushing battle axe here. 
Uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't know what the moveset attacks are with it. I was playing around with it uh, when I was streaming the other day, but I was finding that I prefer the longsword for this area, so personally, personally. Um, I'm sorry that normally I'd be like checking your guys' comments from the last episode, but I, I did the goof up where... <laughs> So basically the way I've been doing this is I like work on rec like recording my lore footage all day, all afternoon, all evening. And then at night I record my let's play and it takes me all night for my computer to export my let's play. And I kind of like edit it quickly before I go to sleep so I can export it while I'm sleeping as it literally takes like five to six hours to export an hour long let's play on my computer. So to maximize time, I do that the exporting while I'm sleeping. Some stone of ephemeral eyes down here to grab because why not? Um, and I finished, and I accidentally mislabeled my files in Final Cut Pro and labeled uh, the first episode as episode two and the second episode as episode one in my, like, and I re-exported episode one as episode two overnight. And I woke up, exported, didn't double check, just uploaded it, which I'm currently at my girlfriend's place and her internet's pretty slow, so it took a couple hours to upload. And after I finished all that, turned out I'd uploaded the wrong file. So, um, had to re-export, which took again like another like six hours during the day. So anyways, point is, normally I would have been able to like check comments throughout the day. Wasn't able to do that. Um, I'm just killing these guys to kill, I, I guess there's not really much reason to kill these ones, but these guys with the axes, they're actually really easy to parry. They're very, very slow, the pickaxe guys, and they have a long window for parrying. You can see I was honestly pretty early on that parry. I really should have failed that one, if we're being honest here. But I didn't, because they have a big window. Oh, oops, I forgot to get an item, because those rock throwers are gone. My bad, I wonder how many people were gonna, like, already commented, like, you missed an item, you missed an item. Edit your comments. Let me know if you actually did. You get some sticky white slime. Used to be called Sticky White Stuff, and I am honestly very upset about that change. But Sticky White Slime, it's a good get here because as I mentioned, or as we read, not as I mentioned, but as we read, enemies here are weak to Pierce Attacks, and they are weak to Magic. Um, our Sticky White Slime, I always get to think about it as Sticky White Stuff in my head. Enchant your right hand weapon with Magic, so that will give you Magic damage to your weapon. Um... It'll make you be able to kill the boss faster of this area, or just enemies if you want. Probably better to use it against the boss and just save it for that, especially if you're having trouble with it, and you're a melee build as I am. Um, yeah. Something about the, the miners here is that they're all bros. I, you gotta respect them for that. And another thing that I wanna point out too about these guys is people may or may not be happy with their difference in looks, but here you can see as a lizard tongue that he's sticking out there. Um, these miners look lizard-like, right? They've got the scales and everything, and that's going to be important to think about. Just for, like, general lore purposes, the way they look with the scales. Because remember, Blacksmith Boldwin had some scales on his left arm, right? And these guys are fully lizard-like, including their eyes and everything. So, uh, definitely, definitely worth a think about there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm attacking one of them, and you can see all of his bros are like, Yo, what up? <laughs> What up? What are you doing? What up? So, respect, man. You gotta respect that. For real. Oh, you know what I should have done before this? I should have triggered the dogs, but that's okay. So, really, the, the main reason to do this, the only reason to do this, because they're not going to attack you, only the pickaxe guys do, without you attacking them, is because of these guys with the bags. They're a one-time spawn. You get these guys, and they're going to drop a ton of smithing materials. You can see I got four hearthstone shards, four sharpstone shards. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's random what their drops are. I could be mistaken. Maybe it's like per each one is going to be something. <gasps> Why did I forget about this? Why did I forget about this? These dogs are dangerous. These dogs are dangerous. Okay. It's not like separately alone. They're pretty easy, but like, um, yeah, like by themselves, they are not, not, a, not fun. Also... Unfortunately, if I had this longsword at plus two, I think I'd be killing them in one attack, but I only have it as plus one. Okay, I'm gonna use some crescent. What do I have? 17 half moon grass, that's pretty nice. 12 full moon. All right, let's use some crescents here. Damn, that's not good. 
I want it to be better. All right. Uh, we got another fat official here. Another fat funk. Oh, funky man. A fat funky beat right here. As uh. Oh, what's what's his name? As the uh, the guy who did the music for Jet Set Radio would say, "Funky beats, yo." <laughs> I thought I was gonna get through there. All right, full moon grass from him. Put your grasses on, son. Clear some shard. Sharp, sharp stone chunk. Cool. The sharp stone chunk is really the big get here if you're going for a dex build. Um, I'll probably be doing a strength build this playthrough. I haven't. I still haven't really decided what my full weapon is gonna be. For now, I'm gonna focus on my, um... Shit! Are you kidding? Are you... I thought that the guy who was walking past was the one who was in the corner. Wow, that sucked. I mean, I have no one to blame but myself, I guess. <laughs> what? I've never seen that jump attack. Alright, 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 alright. Let's get these guys. You know what? I honestly don't need to parry them. I just want to. Um... But the fact that there's two of them, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. I should probably play safe. The thing about them, though, is you have to let them finish their attacks. Otherwise, they're going to... Shit. I'm wasting so much grass right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I am... I am... I am just an embarrassment to Let's Players all around. Oh my god, I didn't even kill him there. Oh my god! Alright, whatever. Take it out, take him out, take him out. I got sloppy at that because I was annoyed with myself. I was about to like talk about how many ambushes there are. And uh, yeah, anyways. This guy right here to the right is the one who I thought was walking over, so that's why I allowed that to happen to myself. Um, I did it to, to teach you guys. Yeah, I knew he was going to be there. Whatever. Whatever. Fine. <laughs> you know, even, like, I even failed my normal just R2 here. Oh, what the... F that, that didn't kill him? Yo, yo. I think last time I played this area, I had uh, upgraded my longsword to plus two. So I think that's throwing me off a little bit. A little bit. I think that upgraded plus two would have killed that guy in, uh, well, that one strike. All right, I'm just watching for more ambushes here around the corner just in case. All right, well, I got a pickaxe as a drop, but if you don't get it, there's one right there. Oh, good. I got some more Crescent Moon. I don't want to waste my Half Moon yet, even though Half Moon is really easy to get um, in 2-2. Well, 2 dash. Yeah, if you finish 2-2, you can go back and get it pretty easy. Anyways. Wow, that was embarrassing. Let's go, let's go to the Fat Official. You're going to want to run to the left side there, like I just did. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm just, I'm just disappointed, you know? Just disappointed in myself. Okay, whatever. Let's get some crescent grass on. Yeah. And, uh, that fish alert. Hey, I fell on him. I didn't even, that's, that was awesome. I've never, I didn't even know there was damage for falling on somebody. I learned something new right there. Cool. All right, fat official taken care of. Give me your gloves. Thank you very much. Um... Ghost or Phantom here to help us out, tell us to pull this lever. Thanks, Phantom. You're a true bro. <laughs> uh, I'm playing offline again, by the way. Uh, just because, as I mentioned last time, I'm fully positive because I got in my other game pure white tendencies at this point. Um, if you play offline, you can control your, your tendency. Wait a second, am I human form right now? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot to kill myself to get in the phantom mode. Oh my god, if I had died any of those times. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, um, I'm already in here, so let's just keep on playing this way, but... Oh, this is nerve-wracking. This was not smart of me. Oh man. How many of you guys watched and realized that? I didn't even notice that! Oh my god! 
Wow. And I almost just let myself die a couple times because I was like, in my head, I was like, eh, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It would have been a big deal. That would have pushed towards pure black tendency. <laughs> this is not my night. All right, a hearthstone shard. He's got a large hearthstone shard. Wow, I'm going to be nervous now the whole time going through. Before, I wasn't even thinking about it, but now I'm like, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Okay. Okay, we'll be good. I'm not going to fight the boss. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be safe about that. But when I get the shortcut, I guess I'll... Uh, once I activate the shortcut, I'll go back and be smart then. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw on my crescent grass here to be safe, but I'm gonna still parry these guys because how could you not, man? How could you not? I mean, it's right there. The parry option is right there. Wow. I'm still like in awe that I let myself do this. I should have double checked. I just like turned on. I was like, let's record. Let's record. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're good for now. We're good for now. We'll see if something like crazy happens. You know what? I still haven't died this last play, so... And granted, we're only in the second one, but... Hoping hoping to keep that this way. Oh, okay. Weight capacity added to limit. So, here's something we can do that's cool, is we can just press start to send to storage, which I'm going to do to show you guys that. Um, so, that's nice that you can do that now. The other thing that I'm going to do is we're going to go and um, go through our inventory and start sending stuff that I don't need to storage and lighten our load a little bit. So don't need this stuff. Don't need that here. Um, I'm not going to use this. That's fine. Uh, pine resin, not going <laughs> to. Don't need fire here. Sticky white stuff I might decide to use. I'm still calling it that. Uh, whoops. But the main stuff, OK, so obviously the shards start to add up when you get a bunch of those. So we're going to send all those to storage because uh, we can. doesn't matter. We can use those easily. And crushing battle axe, 2.5. We don't need you. Two pickaxes. Don't need that weight. Uh, I doubt I'll use the light crossbow, but let's send the purple flame shield. That's eight. That's a heavy one. Old ragged robes, definitely not. Fishless gloves, definitely not. And we're down to 61, so that's a healthy weight. <laughs> that's a healthy weight. I'm trying to get to a healthy weight, guys. I'm trying to, you know, I'm feeling a little, little heavy here. So I gotta, I gotta lose a few pounds, you know? Um, actually, for real though, I'm actually doing a fitness challenge in real life right now. Not that I feel like I need to lose weight. It's more just for the hell of it for fun because I exercise a lot. I like exercising. It's a good time. I like feeling healthy. Um, oh, did I miss this, guys? Wow. Okay. Well, sorry, dude. Don't worry. Now you're part of the party. I guess I assume they all attack me. I always feel sad seeing the, the, these dead horses. I mean, it adds atmosphere. I guess you can see that, you know, they were here to cart off the stones and the ore. Something cool is if you really do pay attention to them, though, you can see them, like, digging through the ground like they're scraping for ore. Probably not the most efficient way, but, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, let's go further. I don't think I need to say this because it's obvious, but <laughs> just in case you're anyone's curious, we're inside a cave. I mean, you walk in a cave. Who wouldn't know that? All right, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. I don't think so. All right, let's get this and be on our merry way to <laughs> to hope I don't screw up. I got a little bit more health though, so you know that's a good thing. Oh no, a foggy. What's gonna be behind it? <gasps> ah! Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Um. This is cool. I really like this area. I love the aesthetic of this. So I like the, the minecarts. I like seeing that. That's awesome. Um, this is a nice little way to teach you about those fire lizards right there, too. The fact that they have that there. Uh, but yeah, I like these, like the wheels and everything. Like the water wheel up there, I think is really cool. Um, the water doesn't look the best, but I have to assume if you really properly weighted water in a water wheel the physics of that alone trying to properly do water physics in a water wheel but would take up so much space and be so huge and definitely not worth it uh i mean it looks good as is but uh, it'd be cool if, if like there was a game that has like a really legit water wheel for whatever reason seeing water wheels takes me back to king's quest 8. i remember the water wheels in that game very well for some reason very fondly i don't know why 
Maybe I just like water wheels. Maybe that's what I'm learning about myself here. All right, so see these lizards on the wall, the fire lizards? Um, they're not going to drop down unless you get basically underneath one, and then it's like an ambush. So, um, yeah. Let's get the hell away, because they're actually going to be pretty dangerous when they uh, they all get up on you once. When they drop over down, though, that's your time to strike. So, they flop over with their, uh, their dash attack, and that gives you a good window. So pretty easy, it's just like I said, if they ambush you, that's when they get bad. But once they lose their flame, oh my, oh my, oh my. Alright, got both of them, nice, two for... Obviously, sideways, they're, they can only attack from the front, so if you can get them from the side, you're good. But they do have a decent turn speed. There's a couple more in there, too, on the walls there. Um, I never really tried to kill them, because I typically don't do range builds, but... Okay, I was just rolling just in case there's something I forgot about because I gotta be extra cautious here. We're about to get the shortcut though. Uh, all that stuff up there we're gonna get later. And this is gonna be something we're gonna do later as well. But the first thing to do before I panic and freak the hell out, let's get these guys, draw a couple of them out. And these guys can hit pretty hard, so let's be pretty cautious about them. Okay, one more R2, and they will be mine. All right, cool. Yeah, I swear, if I die to this stupid guy before... <laughs> when I'm right at the shortcut, that would be so, so sad. Okay, uh, Hammer Bros can attack for a decent amount, too, so be a little wary of them. They came straight from Mario, just a hammer. Alright, I don't need to use Crescent Grass, because that's just going to be a waste, since we're about to go use the Archstone and get full health anyways. Um, you know what this shows, though, is I would have died this run had I not been in human form. Alright, ooh, look at that haul. Look at this haul, too. Dang. Alright, some Greystone Shards. Uh, actually, when I... When I go talk to Blacksmith Ed, I can just have him do the upgrades. I don't need it to be Bullwin. I don't think they're different prices, but I honestly don't know for 100% certain. Uh, okay, if I fall on this mill... <laughs> I've never worried about it before. Now I'm so much more like terrified of everything. It adds a whole other dimension and layer. Uh, okay. So I was playing earlier tonight. Um... And I was at Latria. And for those of you who know, I was fighting the... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not going to go for that. I'm not going to go for that. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. That was too scary right there. Yeah, there was an area I could have dropped off to go get an item, but I do not care. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get this item, though. Renowned Hero Soul. Cool. At least I was able to get this shortcut relatively quickly after... <laughs> A panic mistake. Can you survive dropping down here? The fact that there's this wheel here makes me wonder. I thought you died for it, but what's up, Blacksmith Ed? I haven't seen you around these parts. Ah, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith. Show me your steel. If not, head straight for the door. He is the friendliest of friendly. I'm busy. I'm not here to catch you. <laughs> Forging a weapon strengthens it and alters its character. Orbs are transmogrified spirits. Their presence blesses the weapon. Sorry, I forgot to turn on subtitles. Alright, that's all. He's, like, I mean, both these characters don't have too much important stuff to say anyways. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade my longsword a couple times, because why not? Why not? Alright, we can get this one, and can we get another? We can get another. How about that? Oh my god. Wow, uh, I didn't mean to, like... Now I'm gonna feel way OP here. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be way OP, but... You know what? I had the souls, so... And I just happened to be here. I guess, whatever. You know what? I didn't... I didn't really do anything wrong. I don't. I didn't want to be super OP, but it doesn't feel as cool, you know. When I be, it'd be like, oh, look at me. I could do it like this. That was what was fun about my let's play Dark Souls. 
Alright, let's see if I have enough for another single level, and then let's get the hell into soul form in the Nexus. Okay, alright, alright. Uh, seek soul power, please. Raise up strength, do I want endurance, or do I want vit? Let's do some vit. Let's do some vit. That'd be nice, sure. Okay, whatever. <laughs> alright, so, most important thing. Alright, so, world tendency. Basically, in case I didn't mention it last time, there's a couple ways to go towards pure white world tendency and pure black world tendency in this game. And this is something that's solely part of Demon Souls. Um, if you die in human form, which is what I am, in any of the worlds, that brings you to pure black world tendency in that world. However, dying in the Nexus in human form is okay. It is okay. You will not lose, you will not be punished for it, and that is a way to become soul form. If you die in soul form in any of the worlds, it doesn't affect your world tendency in any way whatsoever. It doesn't bring it towards pure white. It doesn't bring it towards pure black. All good, which is why I wanted to get into soul form. So I can die and not freak the hell out. Um, thank goodness. Made it, that was, I had an extra element of terror there. Um, <laughs> for real. All right, so. Now I can murder myself, I can suicide, I can fall off a ledge, it won't matter, it's all good. Uh, other thing is, and I'll go ahead and, wait, you know what, I'm not going to get that item yet, because I'm going to come back anyways, before we fight the boss, I'll do it then. Anyways, uh, so, there's a few reasons that you want to be in pure white or pure black world tendency or whatever. Uh, namely, the number one reason for it... Okay, let's just take care of these guys. Is that there are certain events that only... Whoa! 1R2 takes them out! Holy crap! I am overpowered now. Uh, okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> wow. There are a few reasons that you'd want to be in pure black or pure white tendency. Which is that there are special events that only occur if you are in one of said tendencies. So, Do an upward swing, you coward. All right. Uh, if you are in pure white tendency, there are and there's. I think this is true of every area. There's a new NPC who arrives that you can talk to, or not necessarily arrives. Like in some cases arrives, and in some cases they were somewhere else, and you can do something, or you can access a new area to free an NPC. Essentially, it's one where you can help out NPCs by doing it. Um, pure black tendency brings black phantoms that you'll have to kill. Uh, pure white tendency makes the enemies easier to kill, so uh, it's easier to kill enemies. It makes the world essentially a little bit easier to deal with and navigate if you're in pure white tendency. Pure black tendency will make the enemies stronger and make it more difficult, but you earn more souls for killing them. But the reason you want to do pure white tendency first is it's basically the way to get white tendency. The only way to get white tendency that I'm aware of in a area, there might be more ways, but basically, if you kill one of the bosses, it brings your world closer to white, pure white world tendency. If, um, yeah, so that will bring you closer to pure white world tendency, killing a demon in the world. And uh, that's uh, that can be that means that basically you have three chances to do it, right? There's three bosses in most of the worlds outside Boletaria, or three demons. So three chances, and that's it. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, not as scary, but still, I don't want to die. Uh, typically, what I've been finding is that if I... If I do it properly, I can, by beating the second boss of an area, like bolt, like here, Stonefang, uh, I was able to beat 2-1, which is this area, and 2-2, the next area, in soul form. And just by doing that, I was able to get to, um... Oh, there's a, there was a lizard there, but I guess he ran away. These, these rock guys, by the way, you can get them to throw and hit these guys who are running and help you out. Even though they're supposed to stop you, um... Yeah, they don't have the best aim. They kill their own bros. <laughs> Alright. So, 
best way to do this, I find, is um, kill a bunch of those guys over there. And then there's actually a shortcut here that you can use to get to the other side without running through them. Uh, yeah, anyways, as I was saying, uh, so like basically killing bosses is the only way to get pure white tendency. Pure black tendency, pretty easy to do, right? You just die in human form and area that will bring you closer to pure black tendency. Um, so the thing to usually do, the best way, the most efficient, the easiest way is try to get a world of pure white tendency. Get all the special things there, find the special NPCs, finish that off, and then once you've done that, kill yourself a bunch of times, bring the world to pure black tendency. And that way you can get all the items, you can get all the things, and that's just all the lore, all the dialogue, all the items. Um, and if you want to get all the things, and that's specific for some achievements too, that is the way to do it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is use a crescent grass delicious and we're gonna go over here so that is why i was so panicky about being in human form long story short or long story long i guess it's because i knew that if i died okay that great clips heavy i should probably send it back um let's see do do send the storage actually i got more item burden by leveling up my uh my health that increases your item burden slightly too Back at the bottom of the forge. So yeah, I was worried because like dying once makes it so much harder to get to pure white tendency. I know I did it in my my original game, but I don't remember how. Um, I think it is possible, but it's definitely easier in Boletaria to do if you screw up because Boletaria you get a few more chances to get to pure white tendency, since you can kill the red dragon and one. Of the, you know, there's two dragons there. You can kill one of them in one dash two. So that makes it a little bit easier, and that, that counts towards getting your world towards a pure white tendency. Uh, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, Stone Thing, uh, I guess you, I could maybe, if I killed the next three bosses without dying again, maybe that would have been okay. But I don't know for certain, so, um, scary stuff. All right, let's go to some, uh, some of these lizards here, which are, I think, pretty cool. I like the way they look. Yeah, and so if I didn't already say this, in the comments, uh, some of you guys were sounding off about how you felt about the remake and the looks of it. I know, uh, I saw this with the stream too. Some people were saying that they didn't really like the way the game looks now and it doesn't interest them now, whereas they actually like the style more of the original game. And uh, Mr. Puck, I believe, was saying in the comments that he was frustrated too about the, uh, the, the changes that were made because you know, anything different from purely what it originally was that's changed is that no, not a, is not cool. And I, I can totally respect and understand that point of view 100%. And I think that's how I feel about Dark Souls 1. Other than again, with Dark Souls 1, which I know way better than Demon Souls, which is why I was bringing up that example. I thought, I honestly thought I killed both of them right there. That's why I was being so lax. Well... Uh, oh, that's why. That's a different dog. Okay. Yeah, so there's three dogs. I didn't realize another one would run up here. All right. Well, that helps. So now they can't all ambush me. Ah! I say that and then another one ambushed me. I've never had all three of them run up here before. This, like, sometimes I'll get, like, one. Never had all three. We had a little party here. All right. Party's over. Animal party. You know what this makes me wonder though with the the wolves attacking you and the lizards so demon souls similar to dark souls characters essentially go hollow uh because of losing their soul that causes them to go hollow over time or if you're in a corporeal form too long it would seem which we find out a little bit later from the uh crestfallen warrior so i think cor corporeal form being in that too long also causes it um, you'd essentially go hollow and lose yourself. And uh, as we find out too, demons can take souls. Or sorry, can take uh, the form of things and, and infest things essentially. As we find out it's happened to Baltaria here as well it was saying that. So I wonder if the animals, like the wolf that we fight, that's the case. You know, it's something like a similar thing that's what, what happened to humans. It just happened to happen to them. 
Uh, lizards, I'm assuming, would be hostile anyways. But yeah, I don't know. It's just something I, something I was wondering. Oh, man. I like that first one. That first one that they do when they're right next to you is always, like, so easy to parry. Like, look how early I was on that, and it still parried it. The timing, the window for that is so forgiving. Some might say it's overly forgiving, but um, I'm fine with it, because it's just so satisfying. All right. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, fine. Never mind. <laughs> Worked out anyways. All right. Uh, we got one more guy here who has a bag that we're going to take care of. Don't worry. I didn't forget about him. I didn't forget about him at all. You'll see that a lot of times I choose not to um, target, and there's a reason for that. Because it, it honestly throws me off sometimes. And I feel like it, I'm more likely to miss when I'm targeting half the time, if I'm being perfectly honest. So that is why I don't always target. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and activate the water, get the water wheel helping us out here. And, uh, oh man, this just reminds me again how good the design of the different individual levels is in this game. Because if you think about it, I got that nice cutback to the beginning of the level, right? With that elevator that I activated. Um, and, you know, you notice this lava pit that you run past, but you don't think too much about it. And it turns out that's really the area that we're trying to go to, that we just added the water to just now. Uh, did I miss something? I feel like I might have, mm, meh, whatever. I'll look for it when I go up. So, uh, and as you saw, that, that shortcut was basically a quick run back to the archstone. So now, if you go to the archstone, all of a sudden, all you have to do is go up that elevator and you're right here. You're right here at the next area you had to go to. And even though we did that big wraparound area, that brought us right back here too, which is really nice, really great design. Um, oh, we get some poison resistance ring here too, by the way, which is nice. But anyways, um, yeah, just, just some really clever design here. So I, I'm pretty sure I brought that up last in 1-1 as well, but and Bulletaria, but... Man, Demon Souls, man. It's funny because it was their first real attempt at this type of game. And they just knocked it out of the park so well with some of this design. I honestly, my personal preference is towards the full world design of Dark Souls. I'm going to let him blow up some of these barrels for us. Because these are all fire barrels. Or blow up the barrels. Um... Yeah, and that gets pretty dangerous pretty damn fast, too, because that will all blow the hell up. And it's hard to sneak past them when there's a fog gate here. Alright. You know what? I was going to go back. I, I, mm, should I go back? Nah, I was going to go back, but we're already over here. Let's do it again. Let's, let's just keep on trouncing forward, you know? Let's do it. If I missed an item, by the way, I apologize. Stone ephemeral eyes. Uh, some other fun details here coming up uh, that we're going to see in just a moment is a little foreshadowing here, eh? A little foreshadowing. We see one of the the stone fang miners on the wall. Uh, oh, something I didn't mention with Ed. Well, whatever. I'll do it after I talk about all the spiderweb stuff that I forgot to mention. Oh man, I love this. I love I love this little area. All right, so that boulder that dropped is just for this guy to try to ambush us. Don't did not work. Did not work, did it? Hmm. I'm just seeing if there's any items that I missed. Okay, looks okay. But yeah, so Ed has more skills on his body, which is why I wanted to point out. So uh, Boldwin, who is at the nexus, has it's like just in one of his arms. You can see the scales starting to creep up. Whereas Ed is, uh, his whole body starting to become scaly. And it does bring a question, which is like, okay, so is them being a lizard like that, is that a race? Is it a disease you contract from being in the mines too long and from being here too long? Maybe that's something that the fossils and all that, the dragon stone, the dragon fossils creates and causes, which personally, I like that idea the most lore wise. I think that's the most interesting concept. But it could also just be like maybe you're part of a race or something. But 
I don't know, man. I I don't know. I haven't. I I got to fully look through things again. But I really prefer the concept that it's them slowly turning this way. And if I'm gonna do a full lore video on Bolotari, I better figure it the fuck out. Okay. Let's go. Let's go fight a boss. Uh, on my stream, I was embarrassingly bad about the armor spider who we're about to fight. And my first time ever fighting him, okay. When I first fought the armor spider in Demon Souls PS3, I cheesed the hell out of him. I didn't know how to do it right. I cheesed him with magic. Um, I didn't really learn how to fight him melee-wise, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. And I missed this in my lore game, this thing over here. What is it? Spire Stone Chunk, huh? Um, so I had quite the painful playthrough and streaming, learning how to properly beat this guy um, melee style. Now, something you can do before I hop in there is I could go ahead and throw on, you know what, let's just do it just to show it off. Um, normally, I don't honestly care that much, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for fun. Um, just to show it, but throw on some sticky white stuff, slime. This guy's weak to magic. I don't know if he's weak to Pyrrhus. I honestly don't try with the Pyrrhus, but I know for certain he's weak to magic. So we're gonna go ahead and throw on the sticky white slime, add some magic damage. Uh, he has two possible attacks here. One is the fireballs, which are gonna be a quick dodge. If he goes up on his hind legs, which he just did, it's gonna be that he's gonna stick out a web, which I find to be the worst. Oh god, okay, because if he does the web... Okay, okay. You know, I'm not really hurting him for that much there. Anyways, he has two t attacks at this point. He can do the slam, or he can do what he just did there. He's probably gonna go up and bleed. No, 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 no! I thought he was gonna do his bleedy thing. Oh, fuck me! Okay, okay. Okay. No, 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 get the fuck away, get the fuck away, me, get the fuck away. Ah! <laughs> no! While I'm here, I will quickly do this. Alright, see you guys at the boss. Bro, bro, not bro like. Oh god. <sighs> Did I mention the reason that I send this back up is just in case I die to the armor of spider? So something I mentioned last time, but I'm just going to skip to my death, is that um, he basically has four main attacks. He has two from far away, where either he's going to spit the triple fireballs at you, sometimes he, has, he does the big one, or he does the web. If he spits the web at you, just wait a little bit, and then roll underneath it. Um, if he spits the fireballs, you go a little bit faster. And then when you're close, he either does the swipe attacks, or he does the slam attack. I think if you're in the middle of the slam attack, you're safe. And then the swipe attacks, you just iframe through. Uh, and then when, and that's it. Um, you know, when I did the lore video, or I was recording for my lore video, I beat him on my first try. Why does it gotta be like this now that I'm in front of the camera? Why does it gotta be embarrassing? All right, so he's gonna spit fire at us, which will be fine. I probably should have put my shield up actually now that I think about it, but that's okay. Nope, nope. No shit! Okay, let's put the shield up so he can spit some fire at us. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted him to get rid of that fire for us. There we go. You don't want to be right underneath him, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure if you're right underneath him, that will kill you in one hit. Oh god. Oh, okay. Nice. That was fun. Yeah, that can swoop you to the side. 
If you notice, again, I, as I've said before, I really don't like being in the middle of him. Or sorry, I don't like... Okay, that's back in... Okay, uh, not being in the middle. I don't like targeting all the time. So that's why I'm not doing it. Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier for me to know what I'm doing if I'm not targeting. Because then I can control the camera fully. That's going to be the web again. That time I dodged correct timing. That's going to be fireball slow. Web again. Alright, there we go. We're good. Nope. Oh, fireball, eh? You jerk. Nope. Not today. Not today, armor spider. Oh, I was early. But somehow that was okay. Do your slam, please. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. I said thank you, but I screwed it all up. Okay. Cool. There we go. I ran away because I was worried that I was too close underneath him for that attack. Oh no, seriously, another... <laughs> the first time I fought him, it was going so well, man. It was going so well. That that uh, magic damage was adding so much extra to him. Oh my god, he shot me. Alright. Yeah, the shield up helps, so do a little bit less damage from that. And then you can get rid of the spider web that way. Okay. Should be close. No! Apparently not. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Flipping around, Kita. Flipping around. Nice. Very nice. I'm not going to be greedy because that is how you die. All right. There we go. That time. That time we got him. That time we got him. Man. I'm a little sad it took me three tries, but... Hey, made be way better than when I streamed it. Way better than when I streamed it. Uh, yeah, so that's that's your basic strategy against them, though. If you're doing melee, uh, magic builds are gonna do better against them, obviously. Um, and like you notice with that sticky white stuff that I added, that adds a whole nother level of damage to him. But make sure you can do fairly well against them before you waste it. That's my two cents on the matter. Uh, okay, so we got our hard demon soul, our pure spider stone, and uh, our stone of the armor spider demon, or the sorry, our stone of the armor spider demon. Below the smithing grounds of Stonefang, the tunnel city is a system of pathways that give the city its name. Legend has it that deep inside, beyond the molten swamps, is a grave for dragons. Very cool. All right. We'll find out more about that later on another time. But let's go back, do some level ups, uh, see if I can smith my <laughs> my weapon again. I doubt it. I don't think I got more but um, in that little run through. Also, I'm going to kill myself this time at this point. And I'm turning on subtitles just because we're going to get a little bit more from uh, Blacksmith Baldwin. So let me find it. Language, subtitles on... All right. I can forge weapons. He's going to tell us about Blacksmith Ed. Well, Ed's still up to his old ways, is he? <laughs> Even the demons don't know what to do with him, hmm? Yes, my sidesy. <laughs> Back in my younger years, I had the strength of an ox. The miners would always ask me to clear out the bear bugs, which I pummeled with my bare hands. But even I couldn't beat them. So, I lobbed them into the lava pits. <laughs> so, bear bugs we're going to find out about during 2-2, uh, which is 2-2 being the next area of Stonefang. I'm pretty strong myself. But even I don't compare to Ed. He's a beast, I tell you. A man must eat dragon tails and wrestle stones. If you heed my advice, you avoid crossing him. I reckon he'd prove a lot more trouble than most demons. <laughs> Deep inside Stonefang Mine is an ancient dragon burial ground. The bones of the dragons exude ore. So, I mean, that's your basic plot of Stonefang. 
is that essentially it's like fossil fuel, right? Whereas like dragons, fossils, dragon fossils, dinosaur fossils and old fossils from way back when are what causes fossil fuel for us, right? Uh, similar thing here, except for now it's dragons causing ore, which is their fossil fuel essentially. So you be the judge of which is cooler. I think I know the answer to that. Uh, oh man, just need a couple more large hardstone shards. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and repair our equipment. Let's repair it all while I'm here. And, you come back alive. Uh, okay, I'll try. <laughs> All right, so inventory. Let's get rid of some stuff while I'm here. Send storage, send the storage. Boom, my item load is way too high. Even though it's not nearly as important in the remake as it is in the original game. Honestly, to me, like, I'm glad. I'm glad about this. Just because I think the way I played the original game, just because I wanted all the items, is I would keep on interrupting my runs once I thought I was too heavy with item burden to run back, drop off the equipment. The fact that you can just do this whenever you want, like I don't have to keep on interrupting my playthrough to run back and do that. Um, I can see why it would be an issue to some people because you don't have to plan as well. But because I like collecting everything, it became more of just an annoyance to me. But again, like I said, the whole planning aspect uh, is taken away. All right, let's go with some more strength. I can get four levels. So let's do two to strength. Uh, let's do two to endurance. I think that'll be that'll make me happy. Okay, get some more stamina. Get some more uh, defense. I I haven't really been doing luck. I mean, the thing is, this game it is much easier to get. It feels like than the original game to get a lot of this stuff. Uh, so I don't forget next time and cause myself to panic and freak out again, I am going to go ahead and commit Sudoku right now. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you guys the world tendency too right afterwards. Um, I don't think any NPC stuff is updated after one or 2-1 one other than just Blacksmith Ed having some stuff to say. Other areas have more NPC things that happen, but 2-1 uh, does not. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our tendencies here. Uh, where you can see it, and it's really, really difficult to tell, I know. Um, if you look at Stonefang Tunnel and the little white circle, the one that's uh, to my left of my character there, uh, underneath the archstone of the Digger King, it is slightly brighter. Slightly. You can barely tell, but it is slightly brighter. I think the, the monument looks a little brighter, too, slightly. Um, the, the Covetous King, even though I beat one of the bosses, I need two more to get that one. Whereas the Digger King, uh, I need only one more. So it's, it's almost that pure white tendency. Um, and just for clarity, for the way I've been referring to these, pretty much everyone refers to Boletari here as one dash, etc. So like, um, I'm probably, I'm going to do the Lord's Path next let's play, by the way, I think, but, um. This would be 1-1. One -one. This would be 1-2. Um, this area, 2-1, two 2-2. -dash -one, two -dash -two. Latria, which is the best place in the world, 3-1. And by best place, I mean I just love the lore of it uh, and the aesthetic of it is so cool. Uh, Shrine of Storms, 4-1 through 4-3. Valley Defiant, 5-1 through 5-3. Of course, if the land of the Giants hadn't been destroyed, I guess that would be 4, but sadly, we do not have it. All right, guys, uh, that's going to wrap up this Let's Play. I think there, like I said, I don't think there's any other lore in this particular uh, Nexus right now. So thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, let me know your thoughts, any thoughts in the description, and I will talk about them next time because I should have this Let's Play up in time tomorrow afternoon, which is my plan. I usually get it up in the afternoon uh, if I get this exported overnight. So uh, I will say... Goodbye to you guys. Later, guys. Have a good one. Uh, I did a salute last time. Let's try confidence. That's almost a wave. That's almost a wave. Later, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Peace.